This is Mepka Plesky and you're watching the Run, Eat, Drink podcast. proud and excited to welcome back to the Run Eat Drink podcast, Mr. Mev Kofleski. You might know him as, let's see, a Boston Marathon champion, a New York City Marathon champion, and an Olympic medalist. But we know him also as an all-around great guy and just a gentleman. Welcome to our podcast and thank you. Thanks for having me. For coming on again. This is, we know you are a busy man. Yeah. How, how has it been in the last year since we talked to you? Well, it's been, it's been very busy, obviously yeah. traveling a lot, but it's been a lot of fun to be able to meet fellow runners, meet and greet yeah. and travel around the country and pacing and high piping and put the medals around their neck. It's been a, it's a thrill of a lifetime and it's a little bit hard on my wife and the kids, but oh, other than that, yeah. it's, uh, I'm enjoying it. Oh, to be away from family can be tough, yep. but those experiences have to be so fulfilling, <laughs> though. What are what are some of your favorites from the past year? Well, I mean, you can hear people come and, and say, you know, how where they were when they won, when I won the Boston Marathon, where they were they run the race, or they were somewhere else watching yeah. us at work and screaming like crazy, and everybody coming to work uh, upon work coming to the computer. It's true. So it was maybe a little unproductive day on Monday, <laughs> but. <laughs> And sometimes the people tell you they give you the energy, the energy they got when the news got out on the course yeah. where they were running when I was running winning the Boston Marathon. So it's uh, and ever since it's been just you know be able to just travel, meet and people, and have a good time. And uh, and obviously I wrote my third book, 26 marathons. And oh yeah. So that's been a lot of fun to be able to do that. Now we are we are very excited about this. We have pre-ordered this. All right. On <laughs> Apple Books. Awesome. Uh, but because it doesn't come out until March. March 19. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so. And will there be an audio version? There will be an audio version, yeah. Because yeah. we <laughs> love to listen to that. That's very motivational to listen to your books as we go on training runs. Awesome. Can you give us a little sneak peek as to what might be in the book? Oh yeah, it's called 26 Marathons. It's a journey that you have many people have supported me over the years, uh, from uh, my first marathon in New York City Marathon, and mm. when I said my first and last, I never ever want to do it again because it was so painful. But <laughs> I came back 25 other times to conclude it at the New York City Marathon, but it was the Olympic trials, the Olympic Games, and the Boston Marathon. So you know, it's a journey that what, you know people say life is like a marathon, and uh, I talk about the marathon. I did it. 26 of them in honor of the marathon because people ask you how far is the New York City Marathon, the Boston Marathon? They're all the same, 26.2, but they yeah. go up and down and flat. But so in honor of that, I'm, I'm do, I do one marathon per each mile, which I do 26 and mm -hmm. point two. I guess we could celebrate that. Point two. Point <laughs> you did so you you did that on purpose. 26. That was Absolutely. planned. It was not planned when I first did it, but <laughs> when I got to 19 or 20, then I definitely planned for it. Yeah. yeah. So there's a way. There's. It's going to be 26. <laughs> so my last three, my last three marathons were the Olympic Games, which I was a 41 yeah. year old, and then uh, Boston, and then uh, New York City Marathon. We're all kind of pushing for where it started and where it ended. Yeah. And I think that the book is not only for runners. No, it's all about life experiences yeah. and what you can take from what I took from my marathon experiences, the ups and downs in the middle, and how I can apply it in real life because. Life is, a, life is a marathon. Yeah, persistence and fortitude and yeah. courage and it, it sounds like you you highlight all those different things. Absolutely. So, yeah. you know, it's, I talk about under promise over deliver and you know, sometimes, you know, at work or at home, you know, yeah. <laughs> things like that is, a, a, you know, and yeah, so it gives you the journey yeah. of, you know, sometimes you can do by not by finishing third at the New York City Marathon or five, you can't be disappointed. You can only say, you know what? I could be if I can do things right and overcome the injuries. Only if I can stay healthy, I can win the New York City Marathon, and that gives you hope. So there's all about hope and uh, you know journey and yeah. able to just you know life is, is you never know what's gonna uh, what kind of obstacle you're gonna encounter. Just like a marathon, and you gotta overcome it. And sometimes the greatest obstacles can set you up for the greatest successes. I mean, <laughs> look at you at, in Boston, too. Absolutely. I mean, I, I think, 
uh, from the business aspect of it, I, I went without shoe Hansha for eight months after Nike kind of let me go. And uh, but you never give up on your dreams and hopes. Yeah. You know, sometimes you know, 2008, uh, uh, 2007, November when I didn't make the Olympic team, you don't you don't just quit the sport, which was due to an injury. I would easily have when you say, you know what, this is it. But you never give up on your hope and your dreams, and end up coming around your personal best to win the New York City Marathon, which is my personal Olympic goal, you know, yes. New York City Marathon. Then, you know, finishing fourth at the Olympic Games uh, in 2012, that gave me kind of how to overcome adversity and, yeah. uh, and journey to be able to just say, hey, it's a, the finish line of one race is the beginning of another and that opened the door for me for the Boston, to be invited to the Boston Marathon in 2013 and, you know, and came back in 2014. Oh, y'all, if you haven't seen the documentary <laughs> about the Boston Marathon that he won, you really should. It's awesome. It, it will give you chills. Oh, it gives us chills. We love it. We love it. So that's coming out. The, the book, the 26 Marathons, is coming out in March. Yep. And what else do you have on the horizon coming up that you can share? <laughs> <laughs> some I can share, some I can't. Yeah, new, yeah. new sponsors coming up still, though. Right. I'm going to retire. But, uh, <laughs> uh, and I travel a lot. I'm going to Wine, uh, wine 10K in Birmingham, Alabama next week. Uh, and I'll be in Boston. I'll be there. You You're going to do Boston. But, uh, well, I'm not sure if I'm going to run it yet, but I'll be there. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, Virginia Beach. Uh, Sean yes. Ross, I'm going to be there, and you know, obviously I have the part of owner of the Carlsbad 5K, yeah. 5,000 meters in uh, San Diego County, and uh, the Silicon Valley Half Marathon in the uh, end oh, of okay. April. So if you oh. need a place to visit San Diego or Silicon Valley, come join us. Oh, when is that? <laughs> uh, uh... Carlsbad is April 7th, mm -hmm. and I believe uh, Silicon Valley is uh, April 27th. But we can find out all sorts of things from your website that absolutely the website and then the twitter account and, yes. uh, and also instagram meb thank you for teaching us how to run to overcome both on the course and in life and just generally reading about your life and how you're a citizen of the world and the adversity that you and your family overcame and all the accomplishments how you achieved through obstacles and and how you celebrate and how you're just so wonderful to all of us in the running and walking community. Thank you for taking time to talk with us. Thanks, Amy. You know, for me, English was a very difficult language, just as running is for most people. Running oh. came very easy for me for most part. I was talented. I'm not the most talented guy in the world, but I worked oh, very hard. But you know, it's all about the overcoming adversity, that challenges I faced when I was a child, and then be able to allow me to connect with the rest of the people. Because run, you know, some, it wasn't, when I was in college, if they tell me to write one page paper or run 10 miles, I'll take the 10 miles anytime. 10 miles any day? <laughs> I would take the paper as a former English teacher, but that's, so, but, yes. You know, that's where it connects us. So we yes. do what we can with the talent that we have, with the gift that we have, as long as we maximize those talents, we should be happy about it.